The Secret Garden, Episode 4. For weeks, Colin came to the garden every day. He practiced walking. He learned how to dig and plant seeds. He watched buds push out of the soil and creatures busily going about their work. And Colin thought, thought hard. And one day, he called everyone to him. I am going to say something very important. I am going to live and become a scientist, a discoverer, and I am going to write books about magic. I do not know what this magic is, but I do know that it exists everywhere around us. It is the magic that makes little buds and plants push out of the barren looking soil and blossom into flowers and tall trees. It is the same magic that makes creatures know exactly where to find food for their young ones. It is the same magic that makes the sun rise and then makes the moon come and take its place. Perhaps it is also the same magic that makes Dickon speak to animals and birds. Dickon has that magic and so it must be within all of us. It is the same magic that made me stand up and walk. Mary has it too, because that day, when I stood up for the first time, she chanted within herself, You can do it. You can do it. And thus she created the magic that helped me stand. And I want to experiment with this magic. Will you all help me? I never thought of this before. But what you just said makes so much sense. Tell us what you would want us to do. I don't know how this magic works, but I do know that it is somehow related to what we choose to think about and talk about. So long as I was thinking of dying, my head would ache, my body would hurt, but when Mary talked to me about gardens and rajas and birds and a boy who could speak with them, I started thinking about them and I started feeling better. My head does not ache and fresh air no longer gives me a fever or cold. I think... Happy thoughts and words create happy or good magic, while unhappy thoughts and words create unhappy or bad magic. So this is my experiment. From now on, we will think and talk only about my becoming completely healthy and well. I am going to walk and run and become strong like any other healthy boy, like Dickon. Of course I will have to try myself, practice walking, do my exercises, but this magic will make sure I become well. But till the experiment is successful, we will make it a secret. Will you all do it? Aye, aye, aye Colin. Colin. We, we will, will do it. it. We, we will, will do, do it. it. And so, the children ensured that they always thought and talked about happy things. And Colin began to get better. He looked stronger. And he even <laughs> laughed and laughed and laughed. People in the house were at their wit's end to see this change and wondered what was causing it. He is actually laughing. He hasn't had a hysterical fit in weeks now. And he is looking happy and well. But how? Maybe it is going out in the company of Miss Lennox. What magic is the girl weaving on him? Well, you're smiling too. Do you know anything about the change that has come over Master Colin? <laughs> well, all I can say is that nature and gardens make a man a whole lot different with their happy magic. Now that I am surely getting so well, maybe my father will not be ashamed of me and will want to look at me. I wish my father would return. There's a thing about magic. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And it starts to reach people around us. Colin did not know the magic had reached his father far, far away in Switzerland, and he had felt an unshakable urge to come home. Everything around him was making him think about Colin. Come on.
Your son needs you. The garden is alive again. To the garden? Mr. Craven rushed home. And the moment he arrived and Mrs. Medlock received him. Oh, sir, so good to have you back. Master Colin. Colin? Is he well? Y yes ever since he has been going to the gardens. Gardens, to the garden, the garden. Like a man under a spell, a magical spell, Mr. Craven rushed towards the garden, which was shut for 10 long years. But he stopped right outside. What was the sound coming from within? Colin, father, oh. Father! Colin! You... you're... walking! Oh! Oh, yes! Father! It is all the magic! Oh, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I love you. I missed you, Dad. And I am so happy that you're back home. And this is the point of the entire story of the secret garden. The magic is always at work. Happy thoughts make happy magic, and sad, unhappy, ungrateful thoughts create unhappy magic. The magic is there. It depends on you, what you make it do for you.